Hello, Trade Class. So we're looking at the 7.7 um, .7 homework set. We're looking at this question asking about vertical asymptotes for the cosecant function. So remember, cosecant is a reciprocal of the sine function. And when I'm looking at the unit circle, that would be the y-coordinates on the unit circle are given by the sine function. So what basically I'm at being asked here is where is sine equal to zero? Where are the y coordinates zero? So the y coordinate is zero here, right? When I'm at zero degrees or zero radians in particular, and then the y coordinate is zero here when I'm at pi radians, and that's going to keep happening every time I rotate back to the x-axis. So it happens at zero. It happens at pi. It's going to happen when I get to 2 pi, and then in the other direction because it's going to be negative 2 pi as well. Um, it happens when I go from 0 to negative pi. I get to where the y coordinate is 0, and then at negative 2 pi. So if you're counting all those, that's 0 pi, 2 pi, where we're going in the positive direction, and then negative pi, and negative 2 pi in the negative direction. So those are all the different vertical asymptotes that we have in that range that we're given. Because those are the places where sine is zero, those are the places where cosecant will be undefined. And because it's undefined, we get vertical asymptotes. So zero, it's got this plus and minus button. Let me see if it actually works. Plus and minus pi, and then plus and minus two. Pi. I'm going to check and see if that works. I'm not 100%. Yep, it does. Okay. So positive negative pi, positive negative 2 pi can be done with that plus minus button. 